welcome back to our EVS class. In Unit 1, we are going to learn about migration and its effects. What is migration? Migration is the movement of people from one place to another with an intention of settling down at the new place either temporarily or permanently. Migration is different from going on a trip or taking a vacation. Why do people migrate? Is it easy to migrate? Suppose you have to pack up all your things and move with your family to a different country. Now you have to get used to a different culture, a different environment, maybe a different language. Your parents have to now find new jobs and a new school for you and you have to make new friends. Is it going to be easy on you? I don't think so. People still migrate, so they may have some good reasons behind it. For some people, it's a matter of choice. For others, it's forced upon them. Based on the reasons for migration, it can be of different types. Let's discuss that. The first type is economic migration. If the migration happens because of economic reasons, like better job or business opportunities or a job transfer, that is an economic migration. Another one is social migration. If the reason why a family or an individual moves to a different place is a social one, like looking for better quality of life or moving closer to a family member, that is social migration. Yet another one is political migration. The reason for migration in this case is a political one, like a war or a political unrest. Sometimes people flee from a dangerous place to a safer one. A good example would be refugees. Another one is environmental migration. In this case, the environment has become so unfavorable that people have to move out of that place they migrate to a safer place. For instance, if there is a flood or an earthquake, people are forced to move from that place to a safer place. Sometimes there is a construction of a dam and in that allotted place there are people living in slums. Sometimes those people are asked to move out of that place. This is called displacement. It is also part of environmental migration. This kind of displacement is a grave situation and a lot of thought has to go into asking people to move out like this. There are several advantages of migration as well. You get an opportunity to live in and explore a different place, maybe learn a new language. You suddenly become very tolerant of another culture and people. You may even get a better lifestyle or education. Migration can happen across countries or across regions within a country. If a person migrates from one country to another, it's called immigration. I'll give you an example. If somebody moves from India to Australia, that person is an immigrant from India and an immigrant in Australia. Can you guess which country has the most number of legal immigrants? It is the United States of America. It is followed by Germany and Russia as per the UN reports. Immigrating to a different place is not an easy thing. There are a lot of processes and procedures and documentation starting from passports to ID cards to health reports that are needed for the processes of immigration. That's about moving from one country to another. Let's look at our own country, such a diverse country. If you move from region to region, also it can count as migration. During these unprecedented days of COVID-19 crisis, India has been facing a lot of challenges with regards to migrant workers. 
people have moved from their native places to cities, sometimes even faraway cities, in search of jobs. And all of them, or most of them, are daily wage workers. They have been accommodated by their employers, for example, construction workers. They are accommodated by their employers at a certain place. And because of the lockdown, businesses have been shut down permanently or indefinitely. And these daily wage workers lost their income. What do they do? They don't have a place to stay, so they decided to go back to where they came from. The transportation had come to a standstill. They walked back home, even across states. There's a lot of misery these migrant workers have been suffering, and the government and different NGOs have been reaching out to help them. This is a classic example of a pandemic forcing people to migrate backwards. Here, people are moving back to their native places. Interview somebody you know who has immigrated to a different country. Make a questionnaire. The questions can be based on their reasons for migration, the challenges they faced, and the benefits they had out of migration. Happy learning. See you soon. Bye.